Imagine this. You set out on sail with your fellow clansmen, leaving behind your village for the annual raid against the northern Calderadian lands. You spend weeks ravaging through the helpless villages, raiding caravans and plundering cities. Once you've all had your fill of gold and blood, you decide to sail back home and go to sleep. You wake up. You are naked, you have no weapons, and your clansmen are nowhere in sight. Oh no, you think. Last year's scenario has happened again. You overslept, and your cousins, wanting to play a prank on you, left you stranded behind enemy lines with absolutely nothing but a note that says in ancient runes, it's just a prank, bro. Well, that's what happened to our boy Canute. Can he survive and go back home? But before our Vikings story starts, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Vikings War of Clans. Vikings War of Clans is a free real-time strategy MMO where you play as the leader of a Viking town. As the Jarl, you are tasked with building up your town, both in terms of military and resources. Once you have a solid foundation, you can work on producing an army and dominating your opponents. There is a huge variety in terms of troops in Vikings War of Clans, such as mercenaries, horsemen, raiders, archers, and more, offering you a lot of room for strategy and creativity in terms of army composition. You can also join clans of like-minded Jarls in order to help each other grow stronger and to work collectively on securing points of interest on the world map, such as the Place of Power, a unique location at the center of every kingdom. Capturing the Place of Power is one of the main goals of the game, but of course, seeing as each kingdom contains up to 45,000 players, it's not an easy task. The developers took inspiration from articles and books about Scandinavian Peninsula's history, so if you are interested in that, I'm sure you'll find something interesting in Vikings War of Clans. Moreover, this is the perfect time to join the game, as it is celebrating its 7th birthday, with a huge update full of new features such as Jotunheim, a world of giants and eternal ice where you compete in legendary battles for the throne. There are also 3 birthday monster events, blitz competition every 2 days, and boost for new players up to 20% each week. So if you'd like to try Vikings War of Clans for free, make sure you click my link in the description below or scan the QR code visible on screen right now. You can also find me in the game under the nickname Simo. Thank you Vikings War of Clans for sponsoring this video. So here we are, here's our boy Canute after he was left behind by his prankster friends. All he has to his name is a branch that he tore off a tree and some rocks he picked from the ground. We're going to see if we can bounce back from a rock bottom start like this, get enough money to get a boat, get enough of a crew to get us back home, and maybe get some treasure, you know, for our troubles and to show our prankster friends what, once we're back to our village. So first things first, we need some fucking clothes and we need some food very fast before we lose all of our HP. Oh yeah, we, we're already being chased down by uh, a lord. Very nice. Do they at least feed us when we're prisoner? I think they do. Let's just surrender, you know. We want to keep our HP. Oh my god, they're feeding me! Alright, we found a way to heal ourselves in case we do get wounded in battle. After painful days of being dragged about as a prisoner, you find a chase to escape. So long, suckers! Ran away from one lord ran into another <laughs> you know the drill surrender i'm not fighting any of these boys oh they took me to the dungeon very nice we find a chance to break free and we escape ah they're following me again ah wait i might be caught by the sea raiders first all right maybe this isn't too bad well it is what it is thank you samir for freeing me i really appreciate it man actually can you just capture me i have no food right, i've escaped with 34 percent of my HP. Thank you guys for <laughs> feeding me for a few days. Maybe if we head deeper towards Batania, we'll find something. What do we have here? Four looters. Can I take four looters? Well, it's the best we can have at this point. Let's try it. Ooh, those clothes are definitely an upgrade from what I have right now, considering I have nothing on me. All right, here we go. We got rocks. They got rocks. Problem is, I have no armor. They do. So they don't care about it being hit as much as I do. Basically, one well-placed shot from one of them, and I'm dead. My branch does fuck all against them, so <laughs> that's also not great. One tactic we could do is that we keep zigzagging until they lose all their rocks. And that's what? 14 rocks per stack. Two of them probably have it. Yeah, two of them. That's 28 shots. Let's count them, boys. That's two. That's four. That's six. That's eight. That's 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 20, 26. Right, one of them stopped throwing rocks. The other, I think, still has a rock in his hand. Hey, sir, do you still have a rock? He does not. All right. <laughs> now it's our time to shine. Oh, one of them still had a rock. He threw it. 
Does he still have rocks? Nope. Okay, that's it. We try to kite the shit out of him. We focus one of them with our rocks. We kill him. And then we get his weapon, finish off the others. Let's try it. Our rock supply is very limited, so we should conserve it as much as possible here. Boom. Boom. Nice, we got him in the head. Four rocks remaining. We didn't even take one of them out. Not good. Ooh, got one of them. Nice. If I could get this guy as well. Nice, I got him. Now if I can go around, get one of them weapons right here. There we go. We got the knife. Do I, do I risk it and melee these guys? I don't think I will. <laughs> Boom! Right in the head. Yeah. Which fucking health do these guys have? Come on, man! That was a fucking headshot! Ooh, got one. Alright, I, I think I can get this guy. Oh my god! That was the longest fight I've ever had in Vanderlord. <laughs> And I got all of them as prisoners. We're gonna take all of them. We might be able to recruit them later. Now, please tell me you got food. Please. Fuck. Well, hey, at least now we're not naked. And we have actual weapons now. Can we sell anything here and get enough money for some food? <laughs> we can't. 26 dinars for grain. That's a fucking daytime robbery right there. In any case, we need to find our next target fast because we are losing HP. Oh, fuck, we might be dawned upon by those horse bandits. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go right into them. Oh, wow, uh, we can't even. <laughs> you can take me, boys, but hey. At least feed me, all right? <laughs> I've escaped from the forest bandits, and now I'm about to be captured by actual other forest bandits. Wait, I had gold all this time? Oh my god, did I loot this off of the looters? We could have bought food, but I didn't even notice. Ah, it's fine, these guys are gonna feed us for free anyway. Well, hey, we live and we learn, don't we? We live and we learn. 25 dinars for grain? This is... Oh my god, they're ripping me off. There we go, baby. 20 days worth of food. Just imagine this one guy going through the woods with nothing but a sickle and a sack of grain on his shoulder. Man, I would love to fight those three forest bandits. With enough strategy, I could totally kill some of them. And then I got my hands on some... Uh, hopefully a bow and some arrows. Let's try to survive until we can actually fight those guys all right three days later of trying to dip away from all parties who want to kill me which is pretty much everyone seeing as i'm at war with the entire fucking world i lost the original band of three forest bandits but i did manage to find these three right here force bandits are basically looters on steroids i like that tree i'm gonna go use it as cover this tree's great these motherfuckers have bows and they're not afraid to use them one thing though they always freeze up if you do take cover behind something. <laughs> Maybe we can do some damage with our rocks from here. We gotta make them count though. Only 14 rocks we got. Ooh, that was a headshot. Nice, nice, nice. We got one of them. Can I run away and circle back for his gear? I'm gonna try it. Oh, they're chasing. Or if I can get them like close enough to fight. like that yeah all right Ooh, that was so close oh we got him oh my god canoe you mad lad two bushwhackers as prisoners we could th these would be so useful ranged characters oh my god these would be so useful yes yes oh my god yes we got some boots as well. Very nice. Dude, that's kind of grippy. Oh my god. A hatchet with better uh, damage and we take the other boots as well. Very nice. That was so rewarding. And would you look at that. Three forest bandits right there. Let's go fuck them up as well. All right. Same as usual. But this time we don't have rocks. We have fucking arrows. Nice. Nice. Oh my god. Our our power just spiked, man. Nice. 
Nice! God damn! Yeah, this bow and arrows, godsend. That's an amazing sword. You guys think we can take five of them? Let's try it. One V5, those motherfuckers. Easy money. A cape. A better hood. We got some gear. We got some money. Now let's go see if people are willing to join us. After selling all that shit, we got 894 dinars. Let's fucking go. We got some uh, archers from this one village. God, I love villages. This challenge makes you appreciate villages because they're the only ones who will fucking trade with you. Alright, that's enough fighting forest bandits. Let's go north. We're gonna find some sea raiders. Those motherfuckers have some good gear on them. Here we go. Seven sea raiders, baby. Oh yeah, one of the prisoners joined us and we got two more ranged people, I think. Which gives us five archers. I think we got a fighting chance against these guys. Former shield wall! I think we're losing, are we? Are we losing? Mm, I think we're fine, I think we're fine. Alright boys, you're doing well, you're doing well. Hell yeah, holy fuck, Batanya is strong. I told you this was the place for good loot. Ooh, look at that bear fur, mmm. I think we are now powerful enough to go hunt down villagers like an actual raider now without taking too many casualties. And I think it'll be good training for our boys. So let's go hunt some villagers down. Hello there, governor. We got the ranged advantage, so we'll wait for them to come with for us. Infantry, kill them all! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god! Bruh! What the fuck? Alright, come fight me, come fight me, leave the archers alone. You sit the fuck down, alright? Yeah, the day's lost, get the fuck out of here. Right in the back. One person left. But what the fuck? They took our infantry down. Those scythes are overpowered, man. Was it worth it? I don't think so. Easy 1000 selling all that loot we got. And let's recruit some boys. Let's go and find ourselves some Imperial villagers to bully now, alright? Hello, hello. Please be careful with the scythes. I just replaced the, almost the entire party. I don't want that happening again. They are retreating into the woods. Spectacular. Okay, archers, see if you got range on, on them. Yeah, we do have range on them. Very nice. Are they just gonna stand there and take it? Hey, works for me. Nah, no, they're coming. They're coming. Alright, boys, move up. We got a runner, boys. Hey, very nice. No casualties, that's what I like to see. We got some good gear. We got some good, you know... Uh, Averagely trained boys, all we're missing now is a good raid to take some trinkets back home with us and show our prankster friends, even when left with nothing, Canute can make a comeback and bring some plunders back home. Maybe we head up one of these uh, empire villages? I think they're not very well protected, although there are three lords in Epic Rotea, so uh, hopefully they don't mind. 32 people. Oh, we got it. We got it. Look at the forest bandits. Such drip. My god. Here they come. Here they come. I hope you guys are ready. All right. We need to help these boys out. Ooh, nice. Man, say whatever you want, but the boys are putting in work. They're putting in work, man. Get these archers, get these archers. <laughs> very nice. Some good loot as well. Very nice, very nice. All right, boys, that's our cue to get the fuck out of here. Oof. I gave that mad bitch the slip. Oh, fucking right into another lord. We ran from those lords straight into an easy target. Only 22 militia in the village of Gersigos. Man, this is such a nice little chokehold to hold. Archers in the back shooting at the enemy who will probably come through that road over there. 
and then the boys in the front with a shield wall and i'll oversee the battle safely from over here <laughs> you got them boys hey again no casualties let's go burned to the fucking ground now that's a good raid let's go liquidate our money see if that's enough to sneak our way into a town get a ship and get the fuck back home 952 from this village 976 from selling to that village 736 from selling to that village and we still have some iron ore that we can sell inside the town once we're inside we bribed the guards to let us in for 2700 we sell the silver ore that we got we got a very powerful troop to take home with us we got probably enough money to get us on a ship back home we geared ourselves pretty fucking well if you ask me and we got a cool little adventure out of that i think that this challenge is done boys canute has definitely bounced back and if he wanted he could just pay for peace with uh, some of these uh, uh factions and just build up from there if he wanted to stay on calradia but no He's fucking off back home because Calradia is too crazy for him. God damn, this challenge was way more brutal than I thought. That whole fight with the rocks, I'm traumatized. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and a comment. It helps the video a lot to reach more people and it helps out the channel more than you think. More videos are coming soon and I'll see you guys in the next one. Much love. Bye bye.